Hello, everybody. Welcome to Learn English with Prasanna. Hi, hi. How are you, children? Yes, today is a nice day. Huh? Is it a nice day? Huh, children? Is it a nice day? Yes, today is a nice day. And what time is it? Huh, children? What time of the day is it? Hmm? What time of the day is it? It's the morning time. Yes, it's the morning time. So, which time do you like most? Which time do you like most? Do you like the morning time? Or do you like the afternoon time? Or do you like the evening time? Or do you like the night time? <laughs> Huh? Which time of the day do you like most? Aren't you right? Which time of the day do you like most? Yes? Which time of the day do you like most? I like the morning time. Hmm? I like the morning time. What about you? Yes? I like the, yes, give me the answer. I like the morning time. You also like the morning time. Okay, hands up those. I like the morning time. Yes, Puta, do you like morning time? Ah, right. Okay, then hands up those who like the afternoon time. Afternoon. Yes, okay. Hands up those who like the evening time. Hands up those who like the evening time. Ah, you like evening time. Wow, because you can play. <laughs> you can play in the evening, right? Huh? Yes, you can play in the evening. Some of you just have a um, nap. Huh? <laughs> yeah, so you like the evening time. Yeah, you can watch cartoons. So what do you do in the evening? Huh? What do you do in the evening? What do you do in the evening? You can say, I play. Yes, I play. Uh, I watch cartoons. Do you like to watch cartoons? Yes. Do you like to watch cartoons? Uh, so you can say, I, uh, I play. In the, I play. I watch cartoons. Uh, I watch cartoons and don't you study? Uh, don't you study? Yes, you study in the evening also, no, with your mommy? Uh, yes, yes, yes. So you can say, I study. Hmm? I study. Yes, very good. Yes, you can play. You say, I play. I play in the evening. I watch cartoons in the evening. I watch cartoons in the evening. Then I read books. I read books. Yes. Do you read books in the evening, children? Huh? Do you read books in the evening? Yes. Oh, very good. Then you can say, I read books. I read books. I read books. Okay, so today, Teacher asked two questions. Huh? Teacher asked two questions. Can you remember the questions which I asked you? Yes? Yes. First, I asked, what time of the day do you like most? What time of the day do you like most? Huh? What time of the day do you like most? You can say, I like the morning time. I like the afternoon time. I like the evening time. Yes. Okay, then what do you do in the evening? What do you do in the evening? Yes, I play. You can say I play. I watch cartoons. I watch cartoons. I, what else? I, I read books. 
Okay, I read books, right. So, now um, we have to greet. Huh? We greet, no? Yes, because this is the morning time. So, meet a person in the morning, we just say good morning. What do you say? We just say good morning. Okay, so now I'm going to greet you by saying good morning. Okay, are you ready? Right. Good morning, children. How are you today? Good morning, children. How are you today? Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, children. How are you today? Right. How do you greet me? Huh? Good morning, teacher. I am good today. Good morning, teacher. I am good today. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, teacher. I am good today. Wow. Yes. Now you know how to answer that question also. If I ask, how are you, my kids? How are you all? Uh, now parents are also here. <laughs> so, I yes, I have to ask for all of you. How are you all? How are you all? You can say, I'm good. How are you today? I'm good today. I am good today. Okay, so this is the nice, um, yeah. It's a nice time. First of all, let's do some warm up. Warm up activities. Right, okay, then for that, you have to stand up. Can you please stand up? Can you please stand up? Yes, I'm also going to stand up. Sweat. Right, now I'm here. Okay, hands up. Hands up. Hands down. Hands up. Hands down. Stretch your arms. Stretch your arms. Forward. Forward, forward, forward. Again, stretch, stretch, forward. Again, stretch your arms. Right. Now let's draw circles, okay? Draw big circles. Draw big circles. Then draw bigger circles. Draw bigger circles. Then draw the bigger circles. Draw the biggest circles, right? Then put your hands down. Put your hands down. Put your hands down. Okay, right. Then look up. Look up. Look down. Look down. Look side. Look front. Look front. Look back. Look back. Right, okay, very good. Then keep your hands on your hip. Keep your hands on your hip. Ready? Okay, shall we twist our hips? Only the hips, okay? Not the shoulders, right? Only the hips, right? Okay, five times, right? Okay, let's start. One, two, three, four. Right, then other direction, other direction. One, two, three, four, five. Right, okay, very good. Right, very good children, very good, very good, very good. Okay, then touch your head, touch your head, touch your head. Touch your eyes, touch your eyes, touch your ears, touch your ears, touch your ears, touch your nose, touch your nose, touch your mouth, touch your mouth, then touch your chin, touch your chin, touch your cheeks, cheeks, touch your cheeks. Touch your neck, touch your neck, touch your shoulders, touch your shoulders, touch your hand, 
Touch your hand. Touch your fingers. Touch your fingers. Touch your nails. Next, touch your nails. Right. Touch your chest. Touch your chest. Right. Touch your stomach. Touch your stomach. Is it full? Ababala, is it full? Yes. Have you had your breakfast? Had your breakfast? Yes. Okay. Then your tummy is full. Right. Okay. Then touch your legs. Touch your legs. Then touch your knees. I can't show you my knees. I have to take the leg like this. <laughs> touch your knees. Touch your knees. Touch your knees. Both. Touch your knees. Okay. Then can you touch your foot? Oh, can you touch your foot? Touch your foot. Okay, very good. Now you know the parts of the body also. Huh? Yes, you know the parts of the body. Right. Okay, children. Then tell me um, who has a trunk? Who has a trunk? Do you know the meaning of that word? Trunk. Trunk. Wait, I will show you. Just hold your one nose. Hold, hold your nose from one hand. Just hold your nose from one hand. Then keep the other hand like this. Oh, <laughs> this is called trunk. So who has the trunk? Who has the trunk? Who is this? Who is this? That is the elephant. So who has a trunk? Who has a trunk? The elephant. Who has a trunk? The elephant. The elephant. Yes, elephant has a trunk. It has long nose. That is called its trunk. But we have a small nose. We have a small nose, but when it comes to the elephant, it has it has a long nose. So we call it as the trunk. Trunk. Okay, what is the word, Bala? What is the word? Learn that word from today. It's the trunk of the elephant. It's the trunk of the elephant. Right. Okay. Now let's get back to our lessons. Okay. Can you please sit down now? Please sit down. Okay, right. I'm also going to sit down now. I'm also going to sit down. <laughs> right. Okay, so Babala, um, yeah, today you need to have a cardboard. Cardboard? Yes, you know that. Okay, ask Ami, Ami, just give me a cardboard. <laughs> right. Okay, so parents, now I'm going to talk to the parents. Parents, please take a cardboard. Today, um, you need to just cut out the shape of a shoe like this. Cut out the shape of a shoe using a cardboard. It's better if you can have white cardboard, okay? Just take white cardboard and then cut out the sh shape of a shoe like this. Cut out the shape of a shoe like this. And also you need to have a shoelace. Can you find a shoelace now? Tell me to bring shoelace. Yes, you have. Today I'm going to show you how to put the shoelace into these holes. So just cut out the shape of a shoe and then you need to have 10 holes. Amila? Yes, you need to have just 10 holes. One, two, three, four, five. One side you need to have five holes and then the other side also you need to five holes. Please get ready with that. I'm going to show you how to tie two ways. Okay, because your schools have you wear shoes. So you, you must know how to put a shoelace. You must know how to put a shoelace. Then you can do it by yourself. Uh, if not, your mother is going to put the shoelace and tie there. But after this lesson, yes, then you will be able to put shoelace by yourself. 
Okay, right. Is it ready? Is it ready? Okay, then just uh, put, that means you need to have 10 holes here, 10 holes. And we are going to add, that means going to write some letters. But we are going to write some letters by the holes. Okay, right. I will show you the letters. Wait. Like this, just write the letters. We have already done these letters, right? You know these letters, Babala, because we have already done these letters. Okay, just make some holes, make some holes. Then name the top hole by writing the letter F. What is this letter, Babala? What is this letter? Can you please tell me what is this letter? Yes, F. What's the letter? F. Okay, then the second hall, you have to name the second hall, uh, writing the letter. What is the letter given here? What is the letter, Babala? G, very good, G. Right, then the third hall, third hall, Yes, what's the letter here? H, very good, H. Then what is this letter? What is this letter? That is I, yes, very good. That is I, F, G, H, I. Yes, you know these letters now. So those who have namely joined here, please visit my earlier videos there I have done all the letters up to N. We have done the letters up to N. So get those videos and just uh, show them videos to your kids. Uh, th that means uh, don't give the, all the videos in one day. No, they can't do like that. So when they get free, just show them the videos then they can get these lessons. And also those who have newly joined, please subscribe to my channel. I think because this channel help yeah this channel helps you immensely to improve your english okay right then are you ready are you ready children so what did we do first of all we cut out a shape of a shoe shoe yes you know the word shoe yes this is the shape of a shoe right then after that we make some holes you need to have 10 holes you need to have 10 holes and we just name the halls, only five halls, okay? This side, you have to name only five halls here, F, G, H, I. Then the other side also the same. There also you need to write the letters F, G, H, I. F, G, H, I. Right, ready? Okay, right. Just make any color crayon. crayon. Ah, wait, I have, I think this is not clear. So you need to draw this, but I will show you. You need to mark the areas, but I will show you. Just mark the area like this. Amila, mark the area like this, okay? Because we need to color this first. We need to color this first, so mark the area. Right now, Babala, take any color crayon that you like to have. Take any color crayon that you like to have, okay? Ready? Right. 
So I'm going to take um, which color do I like to take? Can you guess which color that I'm going to take? Yes. Uh, I will take which color? I will take green. Okay, I will take green, right. Now you need to color this area, Babala. Look carefully. You need to color this area. Okay, use one color. Use one color. You can take any color that you like to do this. Okay, right. Now let's color this area first. Let's color this area first, okay? Okay, I'm done here. Right. Now let's color this area. You need to color the outer area of this uh, shoe. Okay, this is the shape of a shoe. So just color the outer area. Outer area, not inside. Just outer area, okay? Right. I'm done. What about you? Is it nice? <laughs> Show me yours. Show me yours. Show me yours. Okay, ready? Right. Do you need time to color? This is the shape of a shoe and we made 10 holes here and the holes were named by giving the letters. Holes were named by giving the letters. We just uh, wrote the letters F, G, H, I. Uh, those who have uh, just joined, I welcome you all to this class, okay? Yes, I think you are a bit late because uh, I just took the class a bit early today. So please, uh, I, yes, I just uh, published a no notice. They are on their yeah, uh, Facebook group, Royal Kids with Vasana Teacher Facebook group. So please check that group. If you haven't joined there, please join today itself because you can get all the updates. Okay? So I just published a post uh, saying that today we would take the class at 10 o'clock. Right, okay. So today we are going to tie shoelace here. So
So you need to have a shape of a shoe and then just made 10 holes, made 10 holes and name five holes by giving the letters from F to I. F to I, okay, F, G, H, I, right. Okay, now take your shoelace, take your shoelace, take your shoelace, ready? Right, then take your shoelace and put this shoelace into this hole. Just, just hold your shape of shoe like this and then put this shoelace into the hole like this. Put this shoelace into the hole like this. Wait, I'll show you. Right, put this shoelace into the hole like this and then just pull it out. Pull it out. Put the shoelace into the hole and then pull it out. Pull it out like this. Okay. Ready? Okay, right. Then after that, Babala. Now, what is the letter here? What is the letter here? It's F. What's the letter here? It's F. Okay, now take the shoelace again and put the shoelace into this, into this hole where you have the letter F. Put the shoelace into the hole where you have the letter F. F. Okay, then pull it out. Then pull it out. Right, ready? Now it's there. Here, shoelace is here now. Right? Okay, then put this shoelace into the other hole where the letter F. and then pull it out, pull it out, right? Okay, then again, put this shoelace into the hole where the letter is G, where the letter, yes, where you have the letter G there now. So put that shoelace into the hole where you have the letter G, and then again, put that shoelace where you have the letter G and pull it out. Now it looks like this. What about yours? Right. Then again, put this shoelace where you have the letter H into the hall where you have the letter H. Right, then again, put that shoelace into the hall with the letter H. Like this, okay? Right, then, again, let's put this shoelace into the Hall with the letter I. I with the letter I. Just put the shoelace into the hall with the letter I. And then again, put the shoelace into the hall with the letter I. How is it? Our children? How is it? Is it nice? Is it nice? Yes. <laughs> right, okay. Then again, put the shoelace. One, one hole is remaining. Huh? One hole is there. 
So just put the shoelace into that hole. Now you have the shoelace like this. You have the shoelace like this. Okay, ready? Now we have to put a knot here. We have to put a knot here. How to put a knot? Just take one, just take one side and then make a loop like this. Just make a loop like this, like this here. Or you can just take cross, cross this, cross the shoelace that you have and then put this shoelace into that hole and just tie it, just tie it. Did you understand how to do that? Okay, I will show you again. I will show you again, right? Just cross this, cross this shoelace, cross, you know, you know the word cross, yes. Just cross this shoelace and then take one side and put that side into the hole and pull it out, then tie it, tie it, okay? Then again, take two loops like this, take two loops like this, take two loops like this, and then again, cross it, okay? Take two loops, then cross, and then put one loop into the hole. Now, when you just take two loops, it looks like this. Then just cross it, cross it. And then put one loop into the hole. There you have a hole now. Just put one loop into the hole. And then, it's very really hard to show it like this. Okay, wait. Huh? Right, now we have two loops like this. Two loops. Then just cross, cross them and put one loop into the hole and just tie. Put one loop into the hole and tie. Right, this is the way you can tie a shoelace. Now you know how to put a shoelace. How is yours? How is yours, children? Yeah, very nice. Huh? Can you send your, uh, yeah, can you send this to my teacher? Yesterday we learned how to put a shoelace and how to, uh, yeah, we learned how to put a shoelace. Huh? Also, we learned some letters here because we named the halls giving uh, letters from F to I. So those who have, uh, yes, some children have joined now. So Babala, what you have to do here is just uh, take a cardboard, white cardboard, and cut out a shape of a shoe. Cut out a shape of a shoe. And you need to have 10 holes there. You need to have 10 halls there and name the halls from F to I. Okay, there are two halls. We don't name those two halls. Okay, F to I. And then you can color the outer area of this uh, shape of shoe. Then take a shoelace, take a shoelace. Right, then you just put the shoelace into the holes. And then after that, you can put a knot here. 
Right, it's done. Okay, do you like it? Do you like it, children? Huh? Now, uh, now hereafter, you can't bother your ammi. Ammi, just put my shoelace, put my shoelace, put my shoelace. Now you can't bother your ammi, okay? Now you can do it by yourselves. Teacher taught you it today. Now you can do it by yourselves. Hereafter, don't bother your ammi or tati in the morning because in the morning they are also very busy to send you to the schools. Huh? <laughs> yes, yeah, so don't bother you and me here after, okay? Now take your shoe after the class. You just take your shoe and just try this. Huh? Just try this. Okay, right. Very good. Then she ran. Let's move on to the next activity, right? Let's move on to the next activity. Right, for that, you need to have a sheet of paper. Take a for sheet. Take a for sheet. Right. I will write the question, mate. We are going to do a matching activity, Babala. Wait, I will show you the topic. Matching. Amila, please write this topic. Please write this topic, matching. And also we need to write a subtitle. Wait, I will show you. Then after that, write down this subtitle. Give each flower a vase. Give each flower a vase. Give each flower a vase. Each flower. Okay, we are going to learn that word, Babala. We are going to learn that word, each. Each, okay? Right, then Amila, here just draw five flowers. And also, below those flowers, just draw five vases. Draw five flowers. Then after that, below the flowers, just draw five vases, okay? Draw flowers like this. Draw flowers like this. Then after that, let's draw vases, okay? Right. Draw five vases. Draw five vases. Okay. Ready, Putala? Right. Then, Namila, just write another topic. The topic is give each three an apple. The next topic is give each tree 
and apple. Q, H, tree, and apple. That's the topic. Q, H, tree, and apple. Right now, just draw five trees here, and below the trees, draw five apples. Draw five trees, and below the trees, draw five apples. Trees are here. Now I'm going to draw the apples, okay? Right. Ready, Amila? Okay, then the final topic, the final topic, give each leaf a ladybird. The final topic is give each leaf a ladybird. Q each leaf a ladybird. Right. Now then let's draw five leaves. Draw five leaves. Draw five leaves. Right, then let's draw ladybirds. Okay, ladybird. Ladybird, like this. Ladybird. Draw five ladybirds. Draw five ladybirds. Right, five ladybirds. Okay, children.
Right. Now give the worksheet to your kids. We are going to start. Okay, Putala, to draw, you can take a color pencil. You can take a color pencil. Right. So what you have to do is this. You need to give each flower a vase. Okay, Puta? Each flower. Each flower a vase. What's the meaning of that? Each flower a vase means, now this, let's take this flower for flower. You this flower, can you give this, this flower to the same vase? Can we give this flower to the same vase? Huh? No. We have to give one flower only to one vase. We have to give one flower only to one vase. Okay, that's why we just say give each flower, each one, each one, this one, then this one, this one, this one, this one separately. So give each flower a vase. Okay, let's give the first flower. Let's give the first flower this vase so you can match it. Just match it. Give each flower a vase, okay? You need to practice that one. Here, give each flower a vase. Right, okay, you can keep on doing that. Give each flower a vase. Give each flower a vase. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes? Are you ready, Shira? Okay, then. Okay. Ready? Right. Then next one, Putala. Give each tree an apple. That means you can't give what? That means all these apples to one tree. Okay? You have to match only one apple to one tree. One apple to one tree. One apple to the other tree. And uh, this apple to this tree, like that, okay? Give each tree, each tree an apple, an apple. You have to give only one apple, an apple means apple, okay? Right, then let's give, let's give each tree an apple. Let's give each tree an apple. Here, each, each. Right, then final one, last one. Give each leaf a ladybird. Give each leaf a ladybird. These are ladybirds, so you have to give each leaf a ladybird. That means uh, when it comes to this ladybird, you can't match this leaf, this leaf, this leaf, this leaf. You can't match like this, okay? You have to give each leaf a ladybird. Each leaf. That means for this leaf, you can give this ladybird. Then take the other leaf and give the other ladybird. Each leaf a ladybird. If a ladybird. Give each leaf a ladybird. Right. Like this. Right, now can you understand the word each? Amila, uh, if they can't understand this word because I'm just telling this in English because I won't practice them to speak English and learn English well. So uh, if they can't understand what I'm saying here, please tell, please tell the meaning of that in your language. Okay, it's okay. That's completely fine because they need, need to understand this very clearly. So what I said, 
here i want to teach them the word each so give each flower a vase if they can't understand it please just uh, give the meaning in your language right okay children are you ready show me your worksheet right very good okay right very good. then children today yes today we uh, today I practice you to answer for two questions. I practice you to answer for two questions. Can you remember? Can you remember what time of the day is your favorite? Uh, what time of the day do you like most? Then we practice to answer that. And then I ask, what do you do in the evening? Then Yes, for that question also, we've just practiced to give answer. Okay, then after that, uh, we cut out a shape of a shoe and we practice to put the shoelace there. Now, you, you can do that by yourself. Then after that, we did, a, we did an activity, right? Okay, children, then I'm going to wind up today's sessions. I think you all are very happy now and you all learned new words and new things. So... Thank you for joining. Uh, let's meet again on Friday. Okay. Goodbye, children. Have a nice day. Mwah. Love you all.